and low my little munchkins crones and sunflowers we're back and we're going to be doing a reading on uh shante and nelly um about their is that this is a good couple i think they radiate with oh i love them together they've been together for like 10 years or more off and on i don't know i love them together however word on the curb is he's a cheater cheater pumpkin eater why is it like that why why allegedly but we're going yes. to pull cards and we're going to do the letterman so uh baby cone is going to be reading so the card we pick out for them will be the lovers yes. let's go let's hope let's hope yes <clears throat> well, the thing that i find very interesting is not only is everybody talking about how ashanti and nelly are supposed to be getting married but at the same time, everyone was just like, they're expecting their first baby, baby together. This is her first child. Yeah, but I'm just like, we heard about that months ago, though. We heard about what? How Ashanti was going to be having a child with Nelly. Oh, yeah. Well, it's yeah, because, you know, she got to go nine months. Oh, okay. That's right. Well, I mean. It's... Jeez Louise. I know. I hope I didn't pass it while talking. Well, uh, we got a ring. Uh, finally, <clears throat> finally, there's a chance I could. So we got that. the lovers for them, and then baby coin. You just gonna put out what you want. Literally, it was three cards away from being the last. Mine one. was three cards away from being the last one. Oh my god! Stop it! <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I wish I could make that up. Stop it! Okay, here we go. So. Yeah. Um, I'm going to lay one of these here. Uh oh. And then here. Baby Con, you gonna do me or you following your own? Uh I'm just gonna follow my own. All right, it's better that way. You ain't gotta slow nobody up with what you doing. Oh my uh, that, that well, we don't technically have a bottom of the deck, so mm. I guess this will represent the bottom of our deck. Mm. The bottom of the deck for me would be the boat, but I don't want that. So I'm going to shuffle that up. Why? Because I knew it was a boat and I don't really like that or not. I know. It technically I do. If it shows up again, then it was meant to be. Shuffle. I'm only yeah. going to do a light shuffle. So if it is there, it could show up again. Okay. I see we both have the sexy man. So I see that. I just put my crossroads away. Wait, wait a minute. What what am I doing? You put your crossroads away? Yeah, because um it was at the bottom of my deck. Okay. <clears throat> Let me shuffle again. I, I forgot what I was doing. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's yeah, all settled. It's all deck. settled now. It's all settled. It's all settled. I got it. I got it. I forgot my translation. Here we go. This is my it's still popping. the boat showed up. Oh my God! Yes, y'all saw this. Our the original road. cards popped right back up. Uh, okay, okay, it was it trippy? Okay, that is and the bottom. I got a, a sexy man, but um, I'm going to oh, wow. pick from here and put that over there. Mm -hmm. And um, so we have both of the men in common. So you had both right because if I pick that from the top, and then I have to pick that from the well, normally, but this is how it's going to be. So anyway, I can go first or you yes, want to go. Yes, I see your end card? Your bottom card. Right this there. one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Now, from what I gather out of this, I know it's been a while. I know I haven't read you in a while. What I see here, sometimes when you see shit, it can indicate commerce, like business. It also could mean travel, time away. It could mean that also. So right now, if I'm looking at it from the base of it, well, the top of the car, it seems like time apart. Travel could be one of the things that they're dealing with. Also, I see a male. I see, I don't know if it's a male from her past. I don't know because I see the two males. 
So I don't know. It could be somebody that still want her mm -hmm. or attracted. It could be a little jealousy. I see a little bit of jealousy about her, over her with him. Um, so like I said, I see somebody that loves her very much loving. However, I see that there is somebody, maybe she had a lover or somebody okay. who had very strong feelings for her, who is jealous over her and he's jealous over her. And so much so that this was somebody that was even be, I would say violent towards her, mm. who was jealous. I don't know if this person is in their life, but it's showing up from the past. And it could just be that she's not trying to be involved in anything like that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I definitely see jealousy. I see a whip. I see the past. And I see that there was somebody who was untrustworthy, who made her life hard at one point. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what that is, but um, that's what I see. What I see in the past is something very similar. Okay. Is that we have this very nice offer in the rose as well as the sexy man. And then we have the time as well. So therefore, as we see somebody from her past who represent time, somebody that she's known who had very fond feelings of her because the rose represents somebody that could have been like a friend of hers or a queen close to her at one point. You know what I'm thinking? What? I'm thinking I got the past and I think that's Nelly. Okay. I think that's Nelly coming in. Like I what I think I got here is somebody of her past. Okay. And he's of our past too because they broke up and been back together. Gotcha. But you have two men. Whoever the negative man was, I don't know, but somebody was in her life that was buried that didn't mean her no good. But then you see another man mm -hmm. that come in with roses and yes. sexy, even seem to be like a little cheater, a little uh, not honest, but love her. Mm hmm right yes. where i see a man that's a little bit more stable maybe not much of a cheater maybe was i don't know but just jealous okay. and maybe both men are jealous but i see the man of the past very jealous to the point that he want to hurt oh, because okay. of the whip shows up and i think for that this is where she's probably been leery about men and who she date and see now when i look in her present i think she's just beaming mentally mentally she's beaming she's in love she's happy she's happy however she's got somebody there that's jealous that's trying to take away her happiness I don't know if it's negativity, but there is somebody mm -hmm. earthbound that's trying to take away her happiness. This woman is beaming. She's in love. And I see something or someone is there trying to erode the relationship. I can believe it because right where your mouse is, mm -hmm. mice is, I have the sexy man that's what uh, we call yes him. well he's oh he's not the, the, he's just the good man the yes, earthbound the gentleman. The, the gentleman and mm -hmm. this could be that person from her past maybe that's showing up again okay. and she's hearing people around her chirping about this as she's coming together and joining a union with nelly so maybe she has to like keep an eye out possibly even mm -hmm. so who knows i mean we're not saying a shot he's in danger but you're saying somebody could be jealous of her pregnancy mm -hmm. i i see the same thing i never would think that but it is definitely showing up in these cards and again i see the pelicans i see the birds i think that they are meant for life whatever they go through i hope they weather through i also see an anchor they are not as anchored as they could be but something disrupts it and i don't know what that could be until i see the end card but i definitely see right now she's happy and whatever could be bouncing and causing a problem or whatever but could be a burden she ain't looking at it okay she just shining in her pregnancy she just happy i love i love we'll stand tall as the trees i said the words wrong anyway you know what i mean but this is about love 
This this is all she's thinking about. Yeah. She's not trying to do anything to disrupt her. She's in a moment, in a season that she just feel enjoyed, but she got negativity around her. She's got a whip. She's got a snake. She got somebody that's eating. She's got a cross, a burden. She still got stuff around her, but for some reason, I think she's in euphoria. Like she's okay. happy. Like she's just not going to let that get in the way of the most it. happiest time of her life. This is what I get. Mm -hmm. You go, babe. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if you want to pull the curtains down behind you or not. Not really, but okay. I, I mean, it's only being very it the cards just, anyway. They can't. I just worry more about the cards. Okay. Well, um, we have here in their future. We have the mm -hmm. um death card, which a death doesn't always have to symbolize no. the ending of a relationship. It could be the starting fresh of a new relationship that had died in the past, mm -hmm. and now is regaining momentum in the future. And who knows? And what we do know, they're actually getting married. She's engaged, She's right? Engaged. So where, where, where you have the engagement card, I definitely have an anchor. So it's like it's bumpy, but I definitely think that it could be anchored down. We'll see. And who knows? Just does Ashanti have any kids? No. Could she be wanting kids? Okay. Well, we here we have somebody. We have the polar bear, which represents a very Loving, strong, right, right. So, and where you had the polar bear under the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. I had the burden. So, if you do look at the polar bear and you do look at, there's still something that can carry something heavy. But go ahead, go ahead, baby. Yes, I'm just thinking that Ashanti is really euphoric mm -hmm. about this relationship, as you said, and she wants to protect it, mm -hmm. and like you know cuddling mm -hmm. she want to start she want a new beginning yeah. she want she want the old thing for her life and his life she wants that all put away all the cheating the lying she wants a new stuff throw that so that that coffin card that's soft because she want she want a new life she want all that dead old stuff she mm -hmm. ain't trying to deal with this she said i'm too old how old is ashante Let me see. and what's her sign it's like, I, this is a, this is like, this woman is, I can't even express it. This woman is happy and she is filled with love. She loved Nellie. She is 43 in a Libra. She's 43. This is a happy time. And how old is old Nellie? Okay. She was born on the 13th. Okay. So that's a four. And Nellie is a Scorpio and 49. Okay. See what I'm saying? So Nellie, you better do right by this yes. woman. Do right, you know, but there is somebody in the background in that relationship that's not meaning no good. I'm just saying it. I'm not thinking it's Nelly, but I'm just saying it's somebody out there that is not meaning them no good. Mm -hmm. My yeah, bottom card is a bridge Ooh, a and you got a book. Boy, what do they have in common? Overcoming the secrets or overcoming the past yes overcoming gossip mm -hmm. overcoming things you might hear overcoming you might hear some things about me yeah. don't let it ruin us just overcoming just being there overcoming just let love let you know let love rule the day that's that's what i'm getting right. maybe even try keeping parts of the relationship secret and not so to the public right keeping the private. relationship private keeping some more. things closed mm -hmm. not letting people know yep yeah, you're right i like that too and it's like if we want our mars to be anchored and if we want our mars to be strong and even though we're engaged if we keep the outside and keep an open dialogue and keep that bridge of communication open and keep the outside out of our relationship yes. maybe it could work mm -hmm. Maybe it can work. That's it. Okay, here we go. You have a question. Yes, my question is, is Ashante happy in her relationship? Um, When I see this, I see the moon. And I see in Sagittarius, I see at the end of a cycle. I see that it's been a battle. It's been a moment. It's been up and down. But I have to say, the I... For the moon to be in Sagittarius, it would have to be a sunny disposition, a fiery disposition, but maybe a little on guard also. 
Okay. A little bit like I'm not a fool. You know, mm -hmm. like it would have to be that. Because why would you be like, even though this is the most happiest time of my life, I'm not a fool. Okay. I'm not a fool. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to listen to no negativity. I'm not trying to hear it. I'm just trying to look out for me and my baby. I'm just, that's what, this is strongly what I get. And I'm not trying to deal with that because I know he loves me. And, and maybe this card could mean he will protect me. He is not trying to hurt me mm -hmm. because he knows he has hurt me deeply before. And maybe it is, you know, he isn't trying to hurt her, you know? Yeah. But I definitely see the fire energy. I definitely see somebody strong and is saying, I'm trying to protect negativity from coming into the relationship. I definitely get that. Trying to protect the negative, mm -hmm. the moon, trying to keep her in this sunny disposition yes. and trying to keep the negative, the naysayers, the lies and all of that out. Don't listen to none of that. Mm -hmm. This is what I get. Whether or not it's true or false. Is it true or false? Could be true, could be false. Just don't listen to it. Just don't listen to it. it. Don't let it come in and break up what we're trying to build. Yeah. What we're trying to establish. What you see. Yeah, I uh, I do see that because mm. like you said, they're trying to find the balance of mm -hmm. being public figures. Yes. Yeah. Also keeping the relationship kind of secret in the sense. And 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 him being honest and not out there doing anything yes. deceitful while she's pregnant mm -hmm. and all this. And understanding that there's word out already that he's a cheater. I just heard that. But you know, but it doesn't we don't know. Yeah. We don't know. But I think just, you know, a pregnant woman don't need to think on those things. Mm -hmm. She doesn't yeah, she need to know about those things. Right. If the baby don't even need to feel that kind of distress while it's in utero. So that's what I get. I just try to get, just keeping her busy, keeping her moving, keeping, you know, just until she just can't, she's still doing shows, pregnant and yes. all. She's doing it and she seemed happy. And if I could find love like that, mm -hmm. I would be the happiest woman in the world. I'm telling yeah. you, there are a couple of relationships out in the world. That's one of them. And in spite of whatever they may come, I just know what they show me. And DDG, those two relationships show so much yes, love. And do. I even have to say ASAP Rocky and Rihanna. Yes. I Another have to one. say them too. No matter what, you know, they weather it. I, I, they, I'm not saying they are my, nothing can happen to them. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying right now they're flying high. And I'm sure there's several others. But those are the ones that's out in the media. Seem like they are doing it. So is Nelly happy about having this baby? Because he have children. But is he happy? Okay. Well, I see here is a Sagittarius. and But whenever, no matter what it looked like, it could be a burden. Mm -hmm. But all at the same time, it could be a good burden. Can yes. a burden be a good burden? Yes, it can. Tell me how, because I'm going to pull out another card. Because in the end, if it's all worth it, then you can't really say it was a burden. That's true, because I get to see here, I get to see the moon, the seven, and Aquarius. Mm -hmm. wow. So I don't know. Wow. Let me, I got to pull out another card. But then I see the chariot. That passed again. That passed. That passed again. What was my question? Um, asking about if Nelly, how does Nelly feel about having a kid with Ashanti, a baby? Well, I can only back up with the cards. Maybe at first it was probably scary. Okay. You know, I mean, he already had grown kids, but overall it just seemed like with the chariot at the end, it had to be, it had to be good news, you know, and maybe it was something she wanted. Because I do see the seven of swords. And that's fire and air. And overall, they blend. So I'm going to leave the cards like this. Trepidation. Okay. I think it was trepidation at the beginning. All right. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. A little trepidation along with, you know, 
is this the right thing? But, uh, but also it ends up with it being triumph. This is what we're going to do. We didn't let those things, we didn't let our past mm -hmm. and the negativity stop us because it seemed like this was planned. This doesn't seem like she just got pregnant. It seemed that they looked at all of this. This is the only way this is going to work for me. It won't work if it looked like she got pregnant. But if they planned it and she wanted a child and he agreed, he must. He could have had trepidation. He could have thought about it. She could have had fears. She could have had all that. And they agreed to say, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. That's what I see happen. Right. What I find interesting is that he already has kids himself. Yes, that alone. But this is her first, first child. child. Yeah. So think about that dynamic. Your first baby daddy already has other baby moms. So you could see the trepidation and having to be a dad again, excited and not. They're not married. I mean, you could see a lot of. Well, they're in the. Oh yeah, you're you're right. They're only engaged. And he is forty nine, and she's. 43. So these are not young kids. Mm -hmm. And so, but we see that they, that's, they see that they overcoming their past. Mm -hmm. They are overcoming those things that hold them back. They are overcoming it. The fear, the talk, the energy, the negative energy, the swords, the too much thinking in it. This is a moment where they're going to, they overriding this. This is why they having a the baby. This is truly in my opinion, and from what I see from the cards, in spite of the negativity that keeps showing up, this is not a perfect relationship. That is clear. But this is a relationship that has been tested and still going through the test of time. It is up to them to make it. It's up to them because it, it doesn't seem like this has been easy breezy cover girl <laughs> but it just seemed that they have the best of times and mm -hmm. when they have the worst of times they have the worst of times but during this pregnancy all i can see let me think is bright light oh that's great that's all i see is a bright light shining on her you know this is a wonderful moment that she's going through i'm talking about her pregnancy mm -hmm. this is a wonderful she is so Words cannot express. Yeah, she can't wait. Beaming. She stands in the mirror and just put her stomach over her belly and can't believe she's pregnant by the man she loves. Mm -hmm. She you knows she's probably go through days like I can't even believe that we still together. Like we broke up. After See, all this. we broke up. We back together now. We coo -coo. like I think that she's so happy because she gets to live out her dream Aww. with the man she loves. And that's what we all want, right? Yes. So you have anything you want to add? No, I don't. I think this that ended good. on a good note. What yes. do you think? Mm -hmm. So I have nothing bad to say about it. However, there is negativity around this, but they're just trying to keep it at bay and focus on the goodness of bringing this baby in the world. She is on fire. She is happy. She's loved, but she is aware of the negativity that surrounds her relationship. And it can come from the past. It seems like a lot of this is coming from the past. Yes. However, she is very much aware about what's going on in her relationship. So with that being said, as I said, they're focusing on bringing this baby in love and peace and harmony. That's what it's all about for them. And with that being said, I like that and I'm gonna yes, leave it like mm -hmm. that. What do you think, baby? Yes. You ready? Yes, I am. Sunflowers. <laughs>